You're watching UNICEF Television. The refugee camps in Dadaab, northeast Kenya, continue to grow. Currently, around 1,300 people are arriving each day. And officially, it is the third largest city in Kenya. Makeshift dwellings and tents house roughly 430,000 people, with more arriving each day. With a high concentration of people and low hygiene standards, comes the risk of disease spreading rapidly. Hubia Adin and her six children have just arrived in Hagadera camp, one of the three camps around Dadaab. Having walked for 21 days from Kibuyu in northern Somalia, they begin the registration process. Hubia receives an initial food ration for three weeks, along with basic supplies and shelter. They are also ushered into a room for her children to receive a cocktail of immunizations. The International Rescue Committee runs the immunization post at Hagadera Refugee Reception. Hubia's oldest son, Abdirahman, receives his injections bravely, but his sisters are less calm at the thought of the needles. Ranganai Matema from UNICEF comforts three-year-old Ikran before her turn. In addition to protection from polio, measles and diphtheria, any children under a year old also receive a new pneumococcal vaccine, which means nine-month-old Muhammad must endure one more prick of the needle than his siblings. Pneumonia is one of the leading killers of children in Kenya, claiming around 30,000 of the 120,000 under five child deaths each year. A pneumococcal vaccine prevents uh, pneumonia, some pneumonias and some meningitis. And as you know, pneumonia is one of the biggest killers in children. So it is good that refugees also are getting this vaccine. As part of the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, UNICEF and WHO have played a key role in supporting the government of Kenya in becoming one of the first countries in Africa to adopt nationwide pneumococcal vaccination. The program was launched in February 2011 and recently expanded in response to the humanitarian crisis in Dadaab. Hubia is uncertain of what the next few weeks will bring, where they will sleep tonight and whether her children will receive education. But she understands that her children's immunization is an important first step in beginning her new life in the camp. There were no hospitals in Somalia and my children were not vaccinated. I understand it's important because I was immunized as a child. This will help my children to not get sick. With a new dress and the promise of food, Ikran has all but forgotten her vaccination. Hubia hopes that her husband will join them soon, as the burden of looking after six children unassisted is high. But she feels confident that this is the start of a better life for her family. This is Kylo Donahue reporting for UNICEF. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for children.